Okay, now we're looking at Cavalier. So, as I mentioned with Cavalier, I saw you guys my Yubaha high, high level solo attempt on full auto. Cavalier had a little bit of utility depending on what main hand you use. So, you can either use a spear or a gun. Personally, gun is more offensive and spear is more defensive, but the one thing with spear is that it requires you to get hit. This is very big because some character may give you a shield on Ogi, a shield via the skills, can either charm, blind the boss, making it a lot harder. You need to be hit, not targeted. So if you're running a spear main hand, keep in mind that you need to be hit. Think of yourself as a walking Rosetta. So when you run into rooms when it charms and blind, you don't want to main you don't want to run a spear main hand. Requires you to clear Spartan and Nighthound, whatever. Clear this little side quest. Defense and attack. Defense and attack, they're okay. Um, the reason being that the defense is for the spear and the attack is for the gun. You get a boost extra if you run a spear main hand. So they kind of want you to run spear, but I think gun is the way to go, personally. There are also some uh, really key things here is that if you're running a spear main hand you have low charge bar gain however you counter upon taking damage for two hits and you gain an affinity every time you're targeted with a gun you have a boost to your maximum health however you also have a big boost to all allies attack based on how high main character hp is that's a stamina buff similar to units like Light, five star John, um, Lelouse, Izmir, I, Zeno Sword. I don't believe this stacks with any of them. I don't know though, but I would believe that they don't stack. And every turn you take no damage, you get a stack. So personally, I think Dragoon is much easier to use. Heavy caval Calvary, it's a little bit harder because um, you need to take damage and be targeted however in content where you have like aoe autos it's a lot more practical right horseman duty is a great skill honestly you get bonus damage for 15 percent for four turns no three turns excuse me three turns of bonus damage and a buff depending on what main hand you have with a spear main hand you get an armored buff and hostility up and with gun, you get unchallenged and hostility down. As I mentioned, I like running the gun more. Just having the unchallenged is really good. Allows you to be a little bit more reckless with your main character. So we here have first skill, which is five hits of 100% elemental damage to random foes. This skill, is, I actually don't use it personally. If you're running a spear of main hand, you get a heal, which is like... A self heal 3k it's okay i guess um and if you're running a gun main hand you get a chain burst damage up and chain burst damage cap up i don't think it's that great for a gun um just looking at the skill i don't think it's that great if anything you probably get more use out of it running it as a spear than anything now we have Battering Ram, and now this skill is a skill I use a lot. Um, both Spear and Gun is very viable. Spear is a Dispel, Gun is Delay. Both are great, and if you're at Affinity Level 3, you will get it to activate twice, so you get either a Double Delay or a Double Dispel. Either effect is great, honestly, on a 7 turn cooldown. That's, a, that's really freaking good. And... Now we have High Command, which is probably the best skill they have. Um, you gain a Noble Purpose effect, which is a buff that lasts for two hits. Once the two hits are over, you lose all of the buffs. So with Spear, you get two hits boost the Order of Heavy um, Cavalry. So with the Cavalry buff, you get the counters. However, with this High Command buff on, you get the maximum counters which is five counters, I think. I could be wrong, but I think it's five counters per turn. Meaning that with two hits, that's 10 counters. 
10, 10 counters that counter for your damage. So if you're hitting, like, let's say 900k autos, 900k autos times 5 is 4.5 million, times 2 is 9 million damage. It's pretty good damage um, on a 12 turn cooldown. 12 turns kind of long, though. And the gun is just a straight boost to all allies multi-attack rate. And it'll stay there permanently as long as you don't get hit. Which is pretty easy to not get hit. Thanks to the unchallenged buff on main character. And the hostility down. Even when I was doing my solo fa high level. Right? Not fa. Even when I was doing my solo Yubaha high level on full auto. If you notice my main character does not get hit. Not much. He'll get hit by the AoE attacks. But autos, you know, he does not get hit. Or she did not get hit. Now, personally, as I mentioned, gun is better. Uh, spear is useful too. But I think gun is more viable in most content. The one thing this class is really lacking though is this normal debuffs. Um, it doesn't really have any normal debuffs in the game right now. I wish the, this skill was a little bit more impactful. The chain burst damage cap up and the 20% heal, 3k heal to main character, I feel that's like really lackluster. But the horseman's duty alone is probably much the best skill on this class. So I'll probably just run it for that. That and high command. I wouldn't even. Battering Ram, I wouldn't even use it unless the boss is really annoying. Like, if the boss is a boss you don't want to Ogi or you need to dispel buffs from it, then I'll bring it. But if I'm doing, like, full auto, high command and horse duty alone are more than enough. Especially if you're running gun build, you have really high multi-attack that go with the bonus damage. It's pretty good. That pretty much covers it. It's not... It's not as um, as complicated as Lumberjack. So that's another thing with this class is that this class is very, very basic. Lumberjack has like a lot of RNG elements to it. And it has a lot of extra things you can do. This class is pretty straightforward. Um, run gun, hit horseman's duty, hit high command, hit auto for four turns or three turns and, and then Ogi and repeat. So cool class.